<laughs> we're just gonna move on from it now because <laughs> back to other stupid decisions <laughs> other stupid decisions Cody uh, why, why don't you just go fire and brimstone on this and... okay so we were all super disappointed when the follow-up sequel to the action pack knives out was announced to go to Netflix. It was, they, they was, was it, bypassing theatrical completely. It was. It was they, not action packed. Well, whatever. <laughs> it was a big movie. I didn't Correct. Ask. It was a big movie, but yeah. it was not action packed. It, it was a action. thinker. I was gonna let it go. Okay. Just let it go now. <laughs> and then and anyways. The gross out comedy of knives the out. century knives out. <laughs> Regardless of the live action documentary, Stop Knives it. Out. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm done. Knives Out 2, the sequel to the follow up sequel, everybody has, had assumed it was going to be another theatrical by Lionsgate. During the pandemic, Lionsgate sold it to Netflix for a bunch of money. So then, so we were already upset that this sequel was going to be on a Netflix thing. But it, you can live with that because you're like, oh, it's gone forever. Well, now Netflix in their in, you can resign yourself you can to the fact yourself, that you're, yeah. you can't play it. Yeah, no, same as Hocus Pocus it. two. Same yeah, as. it's a good film that you're not going to have access to because it's on streaming. But then Netflix and in their infinite wisdom was like, oh, we need to have a theatrical release of this because it makes it more popular on the site. Well, no shit, Netflix. How long have we been after you about this? Just get a goddamn distribution team in order <laughs> and distribute it. So there bright idea is just to distribute it for one week only to just the majors just and, amc regal and cinema and not even all, all of the not majors. all their locations 600 I, cinemas. yeah it's like which it's like is amc you get 200 and cinema you get 200 and now put them where you think they'll work yeah so, so the cities <laughs> yeah. yeah and they're probably in the same exact cities that they were going to already just for like right. out of 600 prints there's probably 50 in new york and 50 in la yeah yep <laughs> so at least 400 and, or 500 so, for the rest of the u.s and the stupid chains did this for only a week it's not like they don't at thanksgiving it's not like they don't have product at thanksgiving there's so many other movies coming out they didn't need to bow down for this this is the first week of december yeah. opening where you have nothing so you can draw people in mm -hmm. and what happens after this week when it becomes if it's number one or number two are they gonna pull back and be like oh you can yeah. play it an additional week well luckily it's, it's not right. even going to get there because it's only going no. to 600 locations and black panther will still be playing disney's strange, strange world. world will open yeah hopefully but yes um, she said fablemans i mean we have a whole there's bunch so of much. product it won't be number one but it'll pop a decent gross yeah because there's some interest around it um i just think what they did was because they don't have a distribution team they just were like how can I get one guy to call and who do I need to call to get these few things booked? And that's just basically what they did. It's mm -hmm. so arbitrary. It's just, I can't possibly call an independent chain or I feel bad. Even if they had gone wider and said the top 600 locations, then you would have gotten some of the top 10 chains in there. Some of those premier locations would have made it because it would have been across the U S at least yeah. that to me would have been more fair than just taking these two, these three, these three circuits no, it, and being like, I'm going to call three people at three circuits and get it, it done. It makes sense, Cody, because AMC, Regal, and Cinemark really supported, oh. you know, Roma and <laughs> yeah. the Irishman. Marriage Story. Yeah. <laughs> Marriage Story. They supported all those films. Oh, wait, they said, fuck you to Netflix. So <laughs> yeah. now Netflix is like, oh, yeah, by the way, how can you make our lives easier? Right. I think that there there is a which you're not going to hear reporting about, but there has to be a profit sharing or a pay uh, some payment going back and forth. Probably, like maybe maybe these theaters get to keep a hundred percent of the film rental or something crazy like that for that week, or maybe they keep like eighty percent film rental or something. So for them, it was a pretty easy, you know. But that decision. wouldn't that wouldn't that also ruin the point of a studio releasing a movie to theaters anyway, so that way they can get those... Or am I thinking of the ticket sales? I don't know what you're thinking of. Okay, no, I mean, it would be that. it would be a benefit to Netflix to get some money from those, but right. it's just yeah. the promotion. It's just the... Pr the Netflix is only sure. doing this so they can... Say, so they can... Basically, it's the promotion on a national scale mm -hmm. 
that legitimizes the film so that that so they can get enough streams so that it's like, oh, I've got to get Netflix at least for this month to watch this movie yeah. so that they can pay for the outstanding amount of money they got. Not it. not to mention probably wanting, you know, the Oscar contention part of it. And I don't think that's as big a, a driver. As, I mean, they would have done like a smaller yeah. release so like they usually have yeah. anyway. But... And they would have put it closer to Christmas, I think, yeah. if that was the case. But no, I, I really think it's because they are experimenting with it does having a one week theatrical run really boost the engagement of the film when it's exclusively on our site. And mm-hmm. they're just using the big three chains and they're getting something out of it. The chains aren't dumb, but they're just using them for this experiment on this film. And it's just, it's annoying because we've had to tell people, nope, ex- independent exhibitors, you're completely out of it. They're not going to take your date. It's just weird that it's, using the word experiment because what experiment is needed like movies and theaters can do well <laughs> knives out did very well in theaters but Netflix why not release does it to not all? care about that all they care about is what is the my cost to promote this and yeah. can i use some of that marketing budget to boop, get a bump i feel like that's just moving budgets around and yeah but why would you want the bump though don't you want the whole you know, you would the think. whole pie. Mm-hmm. Like, wh- right? Why do you only want the whipped cream that goes on the pie? Does whipped cream go on pie? Do you people do that? I'm not sure now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whipped cream or ice cream? Okay, nice. ice cream on the pie when you yeah. could have the pie and the ice cream. I, I know you want the all all a mode. Do you guys put whipped cream on your pie? Yeah. Okay. Pumpkin pie. Okay, that's what I thought. It wasn't just a weird me thing. No, okay. And then cool. I put <laughs> cool, 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 cool. When I could have dairy, I put ice cream on apple pie. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyone want pie? Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to our pie. So if you're wondering, <laughs> listeners out there, we have heard back from Netflix. No, they are not taking dates. As of this podcast today. Now, maybe they'll change their tune <laughs> when they get more pressure. It is till now from thanks. It is from now till Thanksgiving. So we've got some time. As, but... as I think back to oh NATO gosh you know, promoting Netflix and saying they were proponents of the yeah, theatrical they were, exhibition. I remember NATO. A year came, ago. Yeah, came out in a NATO call, told exhibitors, oh, no, we're in discussions with them. They're they're going to start, you know, releasing more content for theaters. They're really going to step up. I oh, guess they never they said. Step, yeah, they did step up for NATO, for NATO's big three guys. <laughs> remember, they never said for which theaters. Yeah. And if I was. Remember, NATO doesn't really help the independents at and all. if I was Lowe's, if I was Marcus, if I was one of these chains, oh, I would Marcus, be irate. B&B, mm-hmm. they should be so pissed. They're up there. They have top 500 locations. They, yeah. I mean, it, isn't Marcus now like the fourth? Yeah, they're massive. Yeah. I. It just... It, it affects not only the little guys, the truly independents, but mm-hmm. it's affecting that mid-tier circuit range, mm-hmm. too. Marcus has over 40 locations. <laughs> wow. And they can't can't get a print of a movie they can't at, get any, one. at any of their locations. Yeah. yeah. And they probably have three or four in the top 600. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, and it's it sick. makes no sense. It's, it's, again, Netflix not understanding at all how theatrical distribution works because they don't have a goddamn team to <laughs> give them insight into it. Yeah. Yeah. Or, th- or they do and nobody and their CEO is not listening because he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those of you listening or may- maybe watching this clip, earmuffs, <laughs> earmuffs, but just so you know, we are annoyed. 